Hello and welcome to my stop in our Halloween video hop. My name is Karen Hashik, and I am so happy to be part of this Halloween inspiration video hop which starts today September 19th 2020 and goes through September 25th. On the top of my description box is a link to the next crafter in the blog and you will want to hop and comment on each co on each video as prizes are offered in some of the stops and the rules to, rules to qualify may be different on some of the stops. I have a va prize valued at over $50 so be sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can qualify to maybe win that prize. This is the card that I am showing how to make in this video. Boo! I have B-O-O -O with jack-o'-lanterns, but just look at what happens when the card is opened. A cute little jack-o'-lantern pops up and it spins around spooktacular and then it lays flat and a magnet holds it shut. So here's how to create this fun pop-up card. I am using the new Bitty Ball Pop-Up Die from Karen Berniston. And it has all sorts of pieces. And then these are the pieces that we will need to create the ball. I have cut a 5 by 7 top folding black card and the front designer paper is four and three quarters by six and three quarters and on the inside there's a piece that is four and a half by six and a half. Now I've used some dies and gotten some things ready in advance to save a little time. I have a B uh, for the boo from Cat Scrappiness. I have a pumpkin jackal this this the front jack-o'-lantern die is from the paper cut and I cut it down a little bit but that's the uh, pumpkin pieces. Spooktacular on the inside is a die from Tonic. Um, these are a couple older scalloped circles and I'm not sure who those from. And then this is the um, cross hatch Karen Berniston uh, die that you can I can sign the card on. So, I have attached the B on the front towards the left, um, but centered in the middle. And I've cut two scallop circles. Um, I've cut the, the small scallop circle out of the front designer paper. And before I attached it, I um, put a piece of acetate there. And of course, I also cut it through the black cardstock. I've attached this uh, fun sentiment there. And I have this ready to go. Now <clears throat> I have decided uh, to use a belly band to hold the pop card closed when I make this one. Um, I, I do like using magnets and I think it's easy to open but as you can see um, where I put it here and it kind of has to be there in the design of this card this side does stay up so I've decided that a belly band might hold it closed a little bit better and I've cut a belly band that is one and a half by eleven and I folded it around the edges of the card and it is ready to go. Um, I'm going to use strong tape to attach that and to attach the pumpkin to that when we're ready for that. Um, I have these other pieces ready to go for this is for the inside and that's for the signature. I use clips to put this together and I think I'll keep the rest of that stuff on there so I don't lose it. Now um, these are the primary pieces, the main pieces of the Karen Berniston die and I have cut two of this main piece um, pieces out and that's what you do to create the ball and then um, to strengthen it and also to decorate them I have attached these pieces here in a little bit brighter um, orange 
and I've also started the face um, and we're going to put this piece part together and then finish putting the card together. So um, when, after you cut these two of these pieces um, you're going to if you want to attach it you're going to want to put a large brad through one of them and that becomes the bottom of the ball and then there are um, these side flaps here on two of these pieces and that those should be glued or you can use a tape if you want but I kind of use a combination of good strong glue from Barely Art and also some um, score tape when I do this. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So I am putting uh, glue on these side flaps and clipping them so that they hold. Um, I already did it on that side. And then while you're waiting for that setup, you're going to want to fold down on all of the scored lines all the way around the center of the card. And then you're also going to score fold down on these scored lines. And you can see there's a long flap. And then you have your short flaps. And the short flaps I use uh, score tape to um, attach. Now I've already done some of that work on this one as I showed you. And so while that one sets up, we're going to take um, this side here and we're looking for on this ball, the side that has the long tab and where there is the, the flap opens the same way. And we're going to attach these two together with good strong tape tape. Glue. I'm using glue and I said the wrong word. It's glue. And then we're going to line them up and make sure this can open. And then we're going to clip them until they set up. In the meantime, these should be set up. Now I got a couple uh, rubber bands out. Um, this is the size that I've been using for the bitty ball and so I'll try um, one of them and any of those three should work but we'll be able to see if it's too tight or not tight enough. Um, I've also um, prepared the uh, jack-o-lantern pieces for the bottom of the jack-o-lantern of, of the pop-up. Make sure that gets set up. And now we're going to take the rubber band and we're going to slide it in that slot. And then it has a circle in the middle. Now it's important that when you're putting these together that um, when when you start putting the little tabs together that you go the direction that doesn't have the opening. Um, so we want to go this way um, and there's a reason for that. You'll see when we reach inside to put this together um, it's easier to do it if you've gone the right way. You can do it the other way but it's a tip that I got from Karen Berniston and of course with all her dyes um, you're going to want to watch her videos um, as she is obviously the expert on them. And I learn so many good tips when I watch her videos. So we've lined those up and um, then we're going to take the next two long slots uh, and put glue on. And then line those up perfectly and clasp them down. And while we're waiting for that to set up, I'm going to show you what you can win. Um, 
I have, because I was using Karen Berniston's dies, and I'm a huge Karen Berniston fan, I thought it would be perfect to give away three Karen Berniston's die sets as my prize. And the value of these three sets is over $50. There's the Love Charms, the Cruise Charms, and the Treasure Charms, and they could be used on any type of card um, and um, are very fun. So, in order to qualify for my prize, you must have a USA mailing address and leave a comment on this video before September 25th, 2020. And you need to let me know where you live in the United States and if you are a new or returning subscriber on my YouTube channel. I will draw a random winner from the qualifying comments and announce the winner by commenting on that winning comment on September 30th. I will need to hear from you with your mailing address before October 1st, 2020 or the prize is profit, uh, vo voided. So, now we're going to want to reach in, and you can bend these back, and stretch the rubber band from one slot and then you're going to slide it down here and then let's test it out. It's hopping up good and then we'll finish So our pop up pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, um, is working. And now uh, we're going to finish the face. I'm going to use some micro glue dots to put that on. I just used some old punches that I have to create this face. Um, This was an old Martha Stewart goo. Uh, can you picture that? Halloween goo uh, punch. And then I had a jack-o'-lantern face that I um, picked up somewhere. Not sure where, but anyway, it worked good for this size. So there's the jack-o'-lantern's smile. That's So um, now before we attach these, um, I want to figure out where I want this to be. And um, a really good way of doing this, and this is another Karen Berniston tip, to make sure that the, the, the uh, I think I'm going to just... We know we want this one poked in the center, but the question is where do we want it on the card? So I'm going to go ahead and pull out this one. And then um, the designer paper hasn't been attached because we want to make sure we have it in the right place and also then the, the designer paper is going to hide the brad. So I am marking a little hole there, a little place, and I will poke through and try not to poke my finger this time. So the um, this piece Uh, you hold this flat and you take the brad and we can put it through the circle. And 
and then I can put it through the designer paper and that's a good placement and then I have strong tape on the back of this piece And then this, here it is, <clears throat> just attach that way, and that's where I'll sign the card. Um, as I explained, I've created a belly band, and um, that is going to um, hopefully hold it just a little tighter and um, we can decide where we want that placement and I put some good strong tape on here so I think it's holding it a little flatter anyway and then I'm going to attach our other jack-o-lantern to form the O I guess I'll so it says B O O boo and then when they slide off the belly band the pumpkin pops up and would be perfect to say happy Halloween spooktacular um, for any child of any age. I had so much fun making this pop-up Halloween card and if you're the lucky winner of the prize package I showed you, you will also receive this card I made. I will need to um, for you to follow the qualifications as I explained. You must have a USA mailing address. I can only mail in the United States. Um, thanks for watching and now please click the next link in my description box and hop on for some more Halloween inspiration.